Up the, right. river, up the river, up the river. There's four Oh god, they're of so us, close on you. They're so close to you. <laughs> oh, the no, water's no. here. Don! No! What do we do? This is me. This is my friend Don. And that is the Lifesteal SMP trying to kill us. Oh, we gotta, we gotta turn it around. We gotta turn it around. <laughs> I don't know if we can turn <laughs> this around. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're so yeah, bad. Yeah, they're garbage. Yes. They're so garbage. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, we got turned on. We're literally <laughs> They're oh, literally bad. God, they're oh, my each other. <laughs> oh my god, we just broke their ankles. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing it. I'm gonna keep... You go, you go right, you go right. Don't follow me into this little bit. Oh no, Brandy! Oh, I had to. Good boy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, here, I'm gonna. Oh, they're gonna okay, kill so me. I got they're hit one. Brandy, come to the boat, come to the boat, come to the boat. Go, go, go! Oh yes! my god, it's so bad! Yes! Oh god, how many hearts do you have? How many hearts? How many hearts? Oh how many hearts? Oh my many hearts? gosh, I'm, I'm healing, I'm healing. I'm Are they still chasing us? Yeah, they're still chasing us. <laughs> do you want to goat them a little bit? What do you mean? You will never get these, you will never get these. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, I think we're losing them. Oh, they're right, right there. We're not losing them. <laughs> We're not losing them. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> Just keep dodging those. Oh, you're so good. So I'm good cool. at driving. Oh, go. Oh, go. Oh, God, go. Oh, go. Oh, take your hits. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> go, Team Fossil. Let's yeah, go. That's right. There we go. Oh, they're turning. They turned. They turned. They left. Are you serious? I think we bored him. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> that was so intense. Don and I had avoided death for now, but to understand what happened next, I have to start at the very beginning, before the start of season four, and tell you the secret of how I got into the Lifesteal SMP. It all started when my friend RecRap uploaded a video, in which he escaped three different traps, used Pofa's own trap against him, and even killed the server owner. But no one knew how to stop him. And that is where I came in. See, Rec and I had been friends for over a year at this point, so it was no coincidence that when Lifesteal needed someone to help trap Rec, they turned to the person who knew him better than anyone else. Now, did Parrot explicitly say, your only purpose is to to trap wreck? No. But why else would he invite me to a server where the whole point is to kill players to steal their hearts? Because like I've said from the very start, I suck at PvP. Luckily, one of my best friends was already a member of Lifesteal, and he offered to train me on the PvP Legacy server. Now you may have seen this video before, but I've never told you the truth behind it until now. See, I didn't just train with Rec because he was my friend, I wanted to study him. And when season three finally started, I made sure to be on his team to keep him close. Oh, look at those crits, Franzi. So good, oh, yeah. you've mastered. Oh yeah, yes, I had a good trainer. Are you smelting food, Rec? Tons of food, Ranzi. We were off to a pretty good start, but while we were distracted gearing up for a fight, we were completely unaware that the fight had already come to us. Beat the yeah, pet, the pet. <gasps> oh crap. I, I don't know you? if I want to fight him. Yeah, Rec, give cords, give cords, give cords. Now you're in a mine shaft? Five, negative 581. No, no, it's clown, it's clown, it's clown. Oh yeah, dude, oh, just, no. just get out, just get out. I'm way too far away. I'm really far away. Oh no. They, they're they're going to kill me, guys. I'm too far, Rec. Let's go, what do you have on you? You don't have diamonds, right? So you're- Yeah, they got me. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I'm just kind of, I don't I don't know what to do anymore. Our team was now down a heart, and even worse, that heart now belonged to the strongest team on the server. But something felt a little sus. And this is where Recognize very complicated history on Lifesteal began. <laughs> no, I think Rec left. Left the call? Is he still on the server? Yeah, wait, uh, did he, is he in a different VC? Uh, no. Rec had deserted our Discord call, but he was still on the server, which meant that if he was talking to someone, he didn't want us, his team, to know about it. Oh my god! Rec and Parrot, Rec and Parrot, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. teamed? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm no. at the different... I mean, we got betrayed, we got betrayed, we got betrayed. I was so confused and disappointed. It was almost like when someone's enjoying your video, but forgets to like and subscribe. 
Not that I'm suggesting anything. Do you want me to go in there and kill him? Because I can right now. Now, at this point, I assumed that Parrot was only befriending Rec to betray him later. But I couldn't let anyone know what I was up to. So I had no choice but to play along. Renzi, you want to help me out with this? I've wanted to kill Rec for two years. I'm, I'm down. And the hunt was on. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. I'm going for it. I'm going to go split off into the wreck wrap. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Okay, I'm going wreck for sure. Yeah, I'm going for wreck. I'm going for wreck. I'm going to boost. All thanks to the boost. Thanks to the boost. Yeah. <laughs> Clutch, are you behind me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm with Brandy. Yeah, he's going on into the ocean. Okay, I'm right behind you. I'm almost there. Okay, be careful. Damn, what are your cores? I'm like on my own right yeah, now. Yeah, like negative. I, I hit him. I hit him a couple more times. I'm lagging out, bro. I'm lagging out. Okay, so Ash, I got you. He's right there. I hit him. Whenever, you know. All the phantoms are aggroed on Parrot, bro. <laughs> This might not be worth it. It was here that I realized I made a huge mistake. I was alone, about to 1v1 the strongest PvPer I had ever faced. The man who had taught me everything I knew, my best friend. It was time to put everything that I had learned to the ultimate test. And maybe, with a little bit of luck, I would be able to pull off the greatest PvP upset of my career. You want to just leave? You want to just leave? Come on, right? Come, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 it was our entire team. And now that he had killed one of our members, this was officially war. Oh, close. I see Rec. Oh, okay. Wait, he's trying yeah, to kill me. Ready. He's trying to kill me, dude. Wait, he's trying to kill me. I'm here. I'm right here. Just keep running. <laughs> he's behind me. He was chasing me. I killed Rec. I killed him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. 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 Good, nice. Good work. Yes. Got your heart back, oh, Ranzi. I'll give it to you. Oh, thank you so much. Let's go. Okay, well, um. Go. Oh, thank you. This has been interesting. All right, Ranzi. We got Ranzi's heart back. But Rec wasn't done twisting the knife in my back just yet. Because as I was regearing both physically and emotionally from his betrayal, while I was at my most vulnerable, he struck again. What's up, Renzi? Hey. Rex here! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> and that was just my first day on the Lifesteal SMP. But I learned the only way to survive on this server was to find a team you could actually trust. And that is how a few months later in Season 4, Don and I knew exactly what we needed to do next. Okay, oh, I, I see it. someone. I, I see someone by themselves. What do you see? What do you see? I can't what do you see? see. I can't see who it is. Oh, it's Vortex. I see Vortex. It's Vortex? We should probably join their VC. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Hey, what what's up? What have you guys been up to? Running. Uh, is it just a, a Don and Brandy duo right now? Yes. They go to duo. I must go. It's a duo. It's a great duo. I just yeah, got yeah, shot yeah. it. Shot it. Subs, subs is here. Oh, subs is here. Don, 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 Don. Yo. Subs is here. Me and Brandy are on the way. Oh, location, location, location. He's dead, he's dead, he's solo, he's solo. solo kill him, kill him. Solo, whoopie, whoopie. solo. Ah. Whoopie, 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 whoopie. I'm right here. Subs is not getting his sex kill. Right? There you go. Let's go. There you go. Cool. Grab yeah, that yeah. stuff. Oh, I hurt Brandy on accident. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Wait, what, what, what are we, what's our little, you know, alliance name? Mm. Uh, Wolf Bash. Oh, let's think about it. Fuck, that's good. I like Wolf Bash. <laughs> Now, this team seemed trustworthy enough, but back in season three, I learned that trust is only earned when it's tested. I just trapped myself on the Lifesteal SMP, and the only person who can save me is my sworn enemy, Wreck Rap. Now, if that seems like I was getting desperate to trap Wreck already, well, I was. Because after losing two hearts on day one, I knew my task was going to be much harder than I expected. So I turned to you, my loyal audience, to give me your best revenge tactics to get him back. That's more like it. And a dripstone trap sounded like a perfect place to start. Coincidentally, my teammate Vitality was one step ahead of me. Okay, I'm testing different dripstone cannons. Ooh, okay, I see. His plan was simple. He and Subs would distract Wreck and friends at the bottom of a cliff. On top of which, Clutch and I are invisible waiting to set off the dripstone cannon. So all I had to do was wait safely at the top of a mountain for vengeance to come to me. Hello? Oh, well, it's Wreck Rap. Let's walk this way. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, show us right, show us right. Okay, all right. That's not for me, Okay, okay. Hold on. Sam, are you here? I'm on my way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh! Wow. Oh my, I am... Somehow he survived, but I couldn't let him escape. I wanted revenge, and I wanted it done by my hand. So I chased after him, 
and may have also forgotten to put my armor back on. They didn't even oh, kill me with it. Zam, let's jump them. What's, what's happening? What's jump happening? Them, jump them. The uh, plans have changed. <laughs> jump them. Reddins, are you attacking? I'm trying to attack this man. Someone doesn't have a oh. problem. I just murdered Wait, Randy. Randy. Yeah, so moral of the story, Never fight naked. So subs ended up giving me a heart to beef me back up, but I realized it was gonna take more than just my team to get revenge on Wreck. It was gonna take one of your more devious suggestions. Little did I know, this simple suggestion would end up changing my entire lifesteal career. And I found my opportunity in the least convenient place. See, I decided to get a little jump on the rest of the server for the traditional end battle and find the portal myself, where I dug a little safe room and logged out. The only problem was when I logged in again, the strongest PvPer and Rex teammate was standing right in front of me. <laughs> what are the odds of finding these guys here? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay, cloud, cloud, cloud. We can talk about this. We can talk about this. Okay, just play it cool. Just play it cool. Just play it cool. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Is it over? Is he done? I, I think. I think he's confused. I don't think he knows what to do. I need to call my team. I'm literally staring in the face of Clown Pierce right now. Oh. 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 oh yeah. Oh, what are you? What are you doing, Branson? Holding a very strong face. Oh no, and now they're talking to me. Uh, <laughs> yes? This was it, my opportunity to recruit the strongest PvPer to my cause. Come on, Branzi, say something insightful or inspirational. Uh, whoever wants to kill Rec Rap today? <laughs> Little did I know that Rec was already in a voice call with them and well... <laughs> Hi, Rec. <laughs> he kind of caught me in the act. Just gonna, uh, uh, okay, let's all calm down. Hey, let's calm down now. So the recruitment didn't go well, but it was about to get a lot worse because there was still an end battle to fight. And now I had an even bigger target on my back. Uh, Vitalzi, watch out behind you. No, 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 wreck, 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 wreck. I'm getting wrecked right now. Okay, Brandy's got clown and redoons here. I'm coming behind you. Oh, God. Help me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty from the behind. I got Rotem Bow and Paradon. That could have gone better. So, yeah. Rex team killed me. But since I had lost all my gear, I did the responsible thing and stayed out of the end and the battle. Right? He's also been slowed for, I think, a minute and a half. Yeah, you guys look busy, so, uh... Yeah. Nothing to see here. No, I can't see their name tags. Oh, I see that pesky wreck rap. I can make a move for him. Son of a Brandy. Oh, no, Brandy. Hey, Brandy, why is the first thing you do get? <laughs> <laughs> I farm when I'm angry, all right? I was now down to seven hearts. But even worse, my most important heart was about to break. Because while I stumbled through a cave collecting resources, my now nemesis Wreck Rap released a video and I was shocked to hear what he said. Quick recap, I joined Parrot to kill Clown Pierce, they betrayed me, I joined another team and accidentally betrayed them, <laughs> accidentally betrayed them. I didn't know what to think at this point. Was Rex betrayal just a misunderstanding or was he playing some kind of sick mind game with me now? Honestly, Probably the latter, but I had to be sure. So I devised a plan to really test his loyalty. And since Rec was convinced I was going to trap him, I decided to do the last thing he would expect and trap myself. And here's how it works. As soon as I arm the trap and step on this pressure plate, it sandwiches me in an inverted landmine. And as soon as I take a step off, it blows me to bits. And if Wreck really didn't betray me and he's still on my side, then as soon as he sees me in imminent danger, he'll risk his own life across this lava pool parkour to save me. And as the TNT blows this place to bits, our friendship is restored and we escape in epic fashion. But if he really did betray me, he'll climb back up the ladder and leave me for dead. At which point my handy flame bow will help me send him up in a blaze of vengeance. But first, I would need to figure out how to lure him to my base. Now, since my favorite flavor of friendship is the nervous kind, I'm going to shoot him a little message just to get those nerves up a little bit. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Your freaking oh. message made my heart start racing, Brandy. <laughs> what are you doing? I just thought it would be nice if we could clear the air, you and I. Wait, clear the yeah, air? Okay, yeah. okay, I'm listening. Why don't Why don't you come over uh, to my base and, and we'll we'll talk this out like gentlemen? <laughs> I don't think I want to come over to your base. 
<laughs> you, you sound very threatening right now, uh, Branzy. I've invited you to my home. What's threatening about inviting you to my home? I guess I kind of should come over. I, I mean, like, I don't know. It's oh, like, yeah. uh... Dude, oh my gosh, you, you've like sent off the stress response in my body. My hands are shaky. His vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti, he's nervous. Ah, perfect. Because if he's nervous, he's cautious. And if he's cautious, he's predictable. See, Rec has a tendency to stand right on the edge of danger. Or in other words, right in the doorway of a seemingly trapped area. Which leads me to step two, prove that I know Rec better than he knows himself. Okay, so this is gonna sound pretty sus, but I need you to trust me, okay? Inside this right. villager hut, there is a little ladder, and I just need you to follow me down, all right? Fancy! Oh my gosh, you can't- <laughs> uh, Of course it's underground! Now, Rec probably assumes that the hut is trapped and will be trying to figure out how the ladder is involved, all the while completely ignoring that the doorway was hovering over a hollow pit. So all I'd have to do is break a couple blocks and he falls to his death. But remember, we don't want to kill Rec just yet, we just want to play with his mind. And saving him from a trap when he's expecting me to kill him, that's just a mental jungle gym. I know you have a habit of standing in like doors. I could just mine this down and drop you into that pit, but I won't do that to you today because that would be terribly rude. But trust can be a very dangerous game. So before I put my life in his hands, I needed to make sure that he trusted his in mine. And if you look down this ladder, uh, there's gonna be yeah. something that's a little bit extra sus. And I want you to remember, trust okay <laughs> we're here to rebuild our trust you think you can do that i think that should just about get his anxiety levels a xanax sponsorship besides the tnt isn't actually rigged to go off it's more of a prop to mess with his head but he doesn't know that <laughs> okay i'm going down <laughs> goodbye cruel world goodbye <laughs> the tnt on the other side of the room however was very, very much not a prop. But to get to it, Rec would need to trust me just one more time. But you're surrounded by TNT right now. There's a mysterious gravel field right here. You, all you have to do is stay right here, and mm -hmm. I am gonna just walk to the other side. Okay. So trust, yep, we're trusting, we're trusting. Had you not trusted me and decided you wanted to come with me, uh, something terrible would have happened. The stage was set and the players were in position. The only thing left to do was put Rex Alliance to the ultimate test. And just to make sure that the mood is set, I'll make a big dramatic speech. Something like, this is it, Rex. The moment where you decide our future. I know you're scared. Trust me, I am too. But if beneath this shroud of betrayal and murder and mind games, my best friend Rex is still in there, then you'll risk your own life in order to save uh, mine. Uh, uh, You're welcome, Nancy. Wow, you, uh, didn't even give me a chance to finish my speech. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Go ahead and break these two blocks. They're broken. <laughs> you want to exit first? It's gonna kill me with, like, arrows or something, or a proper... Uh, you, no, go ahead, you go ahead, Branzi. You go ahead. This is the final trust exercise to escape ah, <laughs> together. <laughs> no, 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 Rick, stop. No, Rick, no, no, stay down there. No, Rick, no, no. Ah, no. The second that you saw me in trouble, you were like, wow. I need yeah. to get over there and save this man immediately. Sounds about right. It's almost kind of annoying how <laughs> good of a person you are. Like, it's just, it's almost, <laughs> almost kind of annoying. <laughs> you did great. Congratulations. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. You did great too, Brandy. Honestly, like, this is a pretty cool setup. I'd like to pick things up where we left off on day one. What part of day one are you talking about? Because that seemed to apply you wanted to kill me, so... Uh, that's a very good point. Very, very good, very good point. How about the first part of day one, where we were we were chopping trees together and yeah, getting food... Yeah, first part's and, cool. I like first and, part. And having a good time, and we could trust each other. Cool. So since Rec did technically save me, I guess I can forgive him for accidentally betraying me. But remember, Rec killed me. Twice! So even though we're back to being friends, it doesn't mean we're even. And I may not have stolen a heart from Rec, but I gained something much more valuable, his trust. Oh, dude, my cortisol levels have returned to normal. The hands aren't shaking anymore. Like, this is legit. Like, I feel so much better. Oh my gosh. And it's a whole lot harder to get even when you're at odds. 
So clearly on Lifesteal, trust is a complicated thing. And with an entirely new team in season four, and no TNT, it wouldn't be so simple to find out who I could really trust. Frenzy, Frenzy, how many hearts do you have? Uh, nine. He's on nine yeah, as well. Nine. Uh, nine. yeah. Thank you. But giving me a heart was a pretty good place to start. Oh my Thank gosh. Two hearts to my teammates. Let's freaking go! May this be a peace offering for wars to come. Our team was starting to build both trust and a safety outpost. Everything. I never thought I'd be teaming with you guys, I'm gonna be real. Like, <laughs> even if it doesn't last this long, like, it's still like, I never thought this would happen. But just as we let our guards down... Oh, incoming, incoming, watch out, watch out, incoming, incoming! Incoming! Oh, incoming! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, behind, 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 behind! Behind? Fuck! Oh, Dude. God. Aaron's also at spawn. Are they spawn camping? Uh, no, but Jaren's I don't here. trust it. I don't either. Don, what do we do? I think we run. But after linking back up with our team, I had a new question. How did our enemies find us so quickly? Was it dumb luck or was there a traitor in our midst? Unfortunately, before I could find the answer, someone else showed up with a very important question. Uh, Woogie, I don't know if I've already asked you this, but it's kind of been how I've been greeting everybody. Waffles. You like, you're a waffles man? Yes. Okay. Cool. What nice. about you, Don? Pancakes a, or waffles? I'm a big waffles man. Nice. What about you, Leo? Definitely waffles. Sure. Of course. Pancakes or waffles, Branzy? This was a strange question that clearly had a right answer, but I wasn't going to lie just to fit in with my new team. Pancakes every day. No, 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 no. Branzy, no, no, no. <laughs> so, Rec, what's your story behind the question? You need conflict in life. Of course. And I don't like just like, oh, he killed me, so I'll kill him. And then there's a team now and bam, bam. And I feel bad when I betray people. So I thought I'll just murder everybody who likes pancakes. <laughs> oh. Interesting. L listen, nice. listen, let's let's okay. talk about this for a second. <laughs> all right. I, I said pancakes because I had pancakes yesterday. Hey, Brandy, no, here's the I mean, thing. You know what? <sighs> you, you can like pancakes. It's totally uh -huh. fine. You're... You really think I would just kill you right here? Honestly, I had no idea. Because even after going through all the effort to gain Rex trust last season, I also kind of used it against him. This is Wreck Rats, also known as Lifesteal's Most Wanted. See, this server has been trying to trap him for months. And with every trap he escapes, his reputation grows stronger. And if I was going to finally take him down, I was going to need a team to do it. Fortunately, being Lifesteal's most wanted target means everyone wants to take a shot, including his own teammate, Parrot. This guy is like super skeptical of everything, but uh, I want to kill him now. Good, we're on the same team. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen that Mystic Hat thing? Basically, if a player is standing right under the end portal and you push them with a piston, it teleports them to the same coordinates in the end. Or in other words, right into the void. <laughs> I like that a lot. He's gonna be skeptical, obviously, because I tried to like, like get him yesterday, but. Mind if I join? Oh, what's hey, up, Rick? Rick? What's up? What you guys up to this morning? Oh, just chatting. Oh my gosh, that was so freaking close. I mean, does this dude have some kind of spidey sense or something? Luckily, he didn't hear our plan, but we already had a huge problem because by now this glitch has been discussed across YouTube and no doubt Rex's own subscription feed. And if I was going to use this glitch, I needed to disguise it so that he'd never see it coming. And I think this is my best work yet. Now, this is a completely normal hallway which just so happens to also double as a one-way ticket to the void. See, above this layer of powdered snow is our trusty end portal. So with the help of a double piston extender, Wreck Rap gets pushed up right where we need it. And with a gentle shove from our hidden pistons, he gets teleported right in the middle of nowhere. But even with this trap, the glitch isn't guaranteed to work. See, there's a one in a million shot that the slightest lag at the right moment could slow the pistons enough to simply teleport Wreck to the end platform instead of to his doom. And when you're trying to trap a player like Wreck, you can't have anything go wrong. So I was gonna need to bring in a redstone mastermind. I mean, this guy is evil. He's heartless. He's sinister. He's a friend from work. Oh, hello, Mr. Cube. So I saw your latest video and I know that you have a little rough spot with rec rap. Can I maybe show you a little something on a test server that I'm working on? As you know, like the thing with rec, 
He's like the nicest person in the world, which makes me want to kill him so much more. <laughs> like it's just like out of love. But Mr. Cute, I want you to just okay. take a second. All right. Now look inside of this furnace right here. Okay. There's nothing. Oh, oh, what? See ya. <laughs> It's cool, but it's definitely not perfect, right? Yeah, I think I could I could make this definitely a lot faster, I think. And another problem is the ceiling is like super sus. I could actually make it any block. Like if this was like a normal block, you could just oh. use like a piston. Isn't it great how like oh. hatred and revenge really brings people together? I love it. It's just, uh... <laughs> I will get to work on that right away. So I left the machine in Cube's capable hands, giving me time to work out the most important part of the- Okay, well, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I finished it, and a few of the major changes is now we don't have the powdered roof. I love that. And then also it's much, much quicker. So if you stand right here for me, and then all you'd have to do is just place like this. Oh my gosh, it's so much faster. <laughs> Holy cow! <That> was... <laughs> this thing is is very over-engineered, but it's gotta be. This is life seal, man. This is this yeah. is the big leagues right here. This is what it takes. Okay, so run me through how this thing works. Basically, what's gonna happen is this observer one ticks this piston, pushes up the block, and this goes into zero tick. So this makes a zero tick. So that'll send the pulse into these pistons, and then that's called quasi connectivity. And yeah, that's basically it basically it's very complicated so sign up for his master class now it was time to set up the trap on the lifesteal server but i still had the most dangerous task ahead of me so since this trap is going to teleport rec to these exact coordinates in the end i'm going to have to bridge out to the same coordinates over the void to make sure that he doesn't just land on an island and hopefully not die in the process oh wait a minute that's an end city I might not be allowed to wear Elytra on this server, but this is definitely going to come in handy. Oof, so after some terrifying bridging and some minor distractions, my uncontrollable shaking has subsided enough to tell you the good news. The exact spot Rec will teleport to just so happens to be in that horrifying canyon. And just as I was about to head back and build the trap, my partner in crime, Parrot, called me with some concerns. What is the likelihood of me getting trapped in this? <laughs> because like, I want to kill him, right? But I also have this internal suspicion that there's something that's also going to be set for me because Cube and I are not on good terms. So just for the record, Parrot is afraid of being betrayed while planning to betray his own teammate. Please, just bask in the irony. See, Parrot hired Cube and his team, the POG, to help him kill Clutch. But Cube kind of betrayed him. I was nervous about Cube at first. I would be really afraid of Cube. You know what the motto of the POG is, right? Lay it on me. End chaos by starting chaos. Create chaos? There's no way I could trust someone with that motto. So now I was gonna have to build the real trap without the one person who actually knows how it works. Wait, does a comparator face this way or the other way? But even worse, I still needed to get Rack to agree to meet up in the first place. Luckily, I know Rack fairly well. Well enough to know that he's a big fan of Casey Neistat who just happens to be teaching a film course that I'm currently taking. So when I reached out to Rec to get him on board with my plot, all I had to do was drop Casey's name and say I needed Rec's help with an assignment, which wasn't a total lie because the assignment was real. I just sort of left out the part where he falls to his death. But even though he agreed to meet, I still needed a storyline for this fake video. So the plan was simple. Parrot and Rec would meet me and Vitalisi at spawn, where I would suggest a meeting to get revenge on the POG. And after a short trip through the nether, we lead Rec to a portal, on the other side of which awaited an extremely sus war room. And as Rec watches Parrot check for the fake traps, I get in position to set off the real one. And once Parrot's in the clear, I pull the trigger and wait for that sweet, sweet death message. So without further ado, I present so, gentlemen, I wanted to bring you all here because something occurred on this server recently that caught Vitalisi and I's attention. The POG seems to have betrayed our friend Parrot here. Are you guys willing to trust me enough to come with me to take down the POG right now? 
I'm, I'm afraid <laughs> oh, <come> to die <laughs> that opportunity. Listen, listen, listen. Come on. I will go with you. Uh, I don't know about Paradox. I have dug a tunnel. It is pretty far away to kind of throw them you off. You dug a tunnel, Brandy. You can't be no, doing I, this to us. Listen, listen, listen. Lead us out of the tunnel. I didn't kill you underground last time. I wouldn't do it this time. All right. It's just. It's... Or would you? Or would you? That would be the perfect play. <laughs> Par I have been in this situation so many times okay. now. Oh my gosh. I'm getting desensitized to this now. Dang. <laughs> Is that uh, their plan, just to desensitize you to all traps? I, I don't know, maybe? Yeah, anything on lifesteal, any leading, any plans to cooperate. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> sus, dude. So <laughs> sus. Are, bro. It is, it is. And I admit, and I appreciate you guys with your trust, you know? it's It means a lot yeah. to me. Down the red, sketchy red pathway. Red, watch out, bro. <laughs> I know, it's alright. Uh, one of these times I'm gonna die to a trap. <laughs> Really, you guys have got to learn to trust, all right? <laughs> hey, that's why we're walking down here. I actually don't feel stressed at all, which is like a new really? feeling for me. Bro, I am so stressed right now. I don't know what kind of card this kid's going to play. <laughs> it's not a card. There's no card. I just tried to help. Oh, uh, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, I'm, no, I'm, more, I'm more skeptical of, of you two guys doing something. I'm... I'm... Uh, I don't, uh, oh, carpet! Dude, oh my gosh! Okay, this is so hey. sus. This was it. My one shot. Wreck was in the perfect position, Parrot was safely in the portal, and after weeks of planning, I was ready. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What? 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 Run, run, run. Oh, oh no, it didn't work! work. <laughs> you lose! You We're lose! We're no! We're actually, We're actually no! It was a one in a million shot, but in the end, Wreck teleported to the end platform and claimed his title as the GOAT. It was for the Casey Nice that course though still, right? No, it's all a lie. No. The whole thing's no. a lie. What? Every bit of it's a lie. So with our complicated history, it was almost impossible to know what Wreck was going to do now, just a few months later, over a simple breakfast preference. With our history, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm not stupid. I mean, I'm not going to anger you guys. Also, like, I'm like... surrounded. So thanks to my new team, Wreck had no choice but to let me go. He kind of deserves it, to be yeah, honest. The... Wait, wait, so you're saying you want to kill Branzy right now? <sighs> or not. But it wouldn't be the first time that Wreck used my own team against me. Because everything in the video I just showed you, from the months of planning to Wreck's eventual escape, was all true. But nothing on Lifesteal is ever quite what it seems. The truth is, I've been keeping a secret on the server for months, and now is the time to finally reveal it. Yeah, Don't you think it's so seemingly interesting? Yeah. That when Branzi set up his void trap, the only way it would fail was if another person went through. Yeah? The truth is, Wreck, day one, my intention was never to kill you. But why would the person that brought me into Lifesteal to trap Wreck end up saving him? It just didn't make any sense. Thankfully, my new team wasn't so easily swayed. Wait, wait, so you're saying you want to kill Branzi right now? Wait, no, I'm wait. saying Branzi should have the chance to enjoy waffles before making a definitive choice of which one is better. But you can imagine why, going into season four, I had a bird-sized bone to pick with a certain parrot. I see him, I see him! Where? He's, oh, uh, he's on the island, he's on the island. He's going north, he's going north, he's going north. He's going north. Uh, I remember, well, he died officially. Oh, Branzi, I see him. He's, I see he's him. swimming to the, he's swimming to the river. He's swimming to the village. He's going to village? He's going to the village. Oh, okay, I, I smacked see him. him. I see him. Go, Branzi, go! He has a few of them, Branzi, go! Okay, I got it! Go. Let's go! Oh, yes! Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna go kill him again. I'm gonna go kill him again. <laughs> There's a kill! Now, was spawn killing an unsuspecting player a bit unfair? Absolutely. But on Lifesteal, revenge isn't the only surprise you'll find, because sometimes you'll also find friends in the least likely places. 
This is the deadliest player in Minecraft. His name is Clown Pierce. No, not that kind of clown. Yeah, that's better. And thanks to his reputation as a killing machine, no one on this server would dare to get on his bad side. Until Prince Zam decided to trap him in a well Wait, what? <laughs> and sent me along with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Clown and I teamed up to make the ultimate trap to get him back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fun House. Now this might seem like your everyday harmless fun house, but in reality, it's a horrifying death machine. The fun kind, of course. Now the players will be tasked with collecting three tokens, but there's a catch. Because while the player is progressing through our course, their deadliest decision is just around the corner. Now behind each of these three doors is a challenge leading to a token. But this particular room has a secret. Because in place of the solid ground that's been catching the players throughout their time in our fun house, I've placed completely white maps, which are resting atop open fence gates. Meaning that one misstep sends the player into a pit where a hungry clown is waiting for dinner. <laughs> Now, we just needed a place to put this monstrosity, and Clown Circus was the perfect location. Dude, this circus looks so sick. Oh, this is gonna be great. And even though this circus is massive, it still needed some final touches before we could open for business. You wanna help me crank on some coal, first things first? Because it, it bothers sure. me that this, this face is not like ready. It looks like your face was a cookie and someone bit the ear off or something. Exactly, like, that's exactly. what I mean. We got we gotta do something about that. Yeah, first yeah, things yeah, first, yeah, cold yeah. time. I swear there's no trap here. You know, I, I'll be honest, I didn't even think about that till you said that, and now I'm a little bit nervous. This is where I realized this wasn't a cold trip. It was a test. And if I even dared to disobey a single order, then stand here, please. All right, you can come up. Okay. I mean, trust exercise complete. That was cool. Now All we're right, like, yeah. true, we're true partners in crime now. <laughs> I found the first coal. Oh, I found coal too. It's probably the same coal. Wait, it's gonna be like when you we eat the spaghetti and then we like kiss. That's gonna be us. Aww, aww. Aww, aww. Pucker up. Mwah. <laughs> Stop. Okay, go back four blocks. Okay, go down three more. Oh, whoa, hey, Cole. You made some kind of deal with the devil to know where that was. Yeah, yeah, I deal with the devil on occasion. Is he scared of you too? Let's just say that those deals are oftentimes in my favor. All right, whoever's back at the circus first gets to keep their heart. Hold, hold on, hold on. Well, you can't say that as you're, <laughs> you're getting back. Oh, was there. No, 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 no. I'm real close now. I could be there right about now. I could almost be there. No, 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 I'm very fast. It almost be there. This could be at any point in time in the coming seconds. I may have made an oopsie. This is an accident. Please don't kill me. When you come up, don't, don't listen. <laughs> don't do anything drastic, okay? You know what? Pretty soon I'm going to arrive at the circus. No, 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 it's fine. Just take your time. Ochi, mama, what happened with my windows? Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I... Windows. <clears throat> Huh, what? What? Oh, look, my windows reappeared. Oh, must have just been a visual glitch. Here, I've got a gift for you. Because you're so honest with me all the time. Mm hmm. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That means so much to me. You know, it wasn't easy to part with my sparkling <laughs> but. Oh, is that, is that what it is? <laughs> 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 I feel like I shouldn't hold this anymore, but it's, it's so special. Now I can see what must be done. Renzi? Mm hmm Take off your armor. You look gorgeous today. All right, put it back on. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank, thanks so much. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking better. Look at that. Enter the mall. Right, yeah, let's uh, let's get to constructing this thing. My god, you're impressive. I 
you swooning right now? I, I did. I swooned. I'm sorry. That's weird. Just, <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> happens a lot, really. It happens a lot. Oh, God. Don't, don't worry about it. Thank goodness. I haven't been this emotionally confused since the time I saw this graph that showed the amount of people that aren't subscribed. And after weeks of planning, it was finally time for Clown and I to fire up the funhouse and get our revenge. But first, we needed a test subject to work out any kinks in the machine. Welcome, Leoc. Welcome to the Hi. opening of Clown Pierce and Branzi's funhouse. Oh you are about to witness the first ever running of this machine. Branzi, you do the honors. Pull the lever, Kronk. There we go. Oh right, my Leo. gosh. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Okay, that didn't work. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, yes! Oh, Leo did it! Congratulations! I did it. I did it. There you go. There you go. Huh? Alright, I think that this way is. Yeah, this yeah, way is the yeah. way. This was the way. Now, you have three choices here, and these are where you're gonna find your tokens. Well, I'm just gonna go with the very scary first. Great. What okay. is going uh, on here? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Yeah. I think I know why I have low FPS now. <laughs> what Close. the heck, bro? Yep. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, did it the first one, like instantly. Oh, okay. Scary room next. I, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to the not scary at all room. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, I got this. <laughs> There you Being go. <laughs> yeah. You got it. There you go. Ooh, there you go. There we yeah. go. Oh my Leo. god. This is the toughest one. This is what your training has been for, Leo. Oh. Are these double Neos? Yep. With a shifting <laughs> wall right next to you, just to throw, get you a little dizzy. With this much space, there's no way I make a double oh, Neo with this it. much space. I'm just gonna try. Oh wait. There you go. There you go. Oh, he got the first <laughs> one. All right. Did you do it on your first try? Dude, that's the Dude, that's you legend. Would, okay, uh, here, play the epic, epic music, all right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> here it goes. Cue the epic music. Three, two, one. Oh, I've got it. Wait, what? No, 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 no. What is this? What is this? Whoa. Okay. Yes. 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 It worked. It worked. <laughs> that's like almost an impossible jump with no backspace. Like, geez. Yeah. That, I mean, I pretty proud of myself for that, I'm not gonna lie. You did great, Leo. You did fantastic. And with one successful test in the books, Clown and I decided it was time to meet up with our main target, Zam. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're Hi, there. Zan. All right, Prince Sam, oh. over here, mm -hmm. we have yeah. the machine. I'm so excited. Brancy, I'll, I'll let you explain the token system once again. You're gonna be tasked to mm -hmm. find three different tokens. When you find three tokens, you can come back here and exchange all three for a chance to win any of the prizes in this dispenser. Oh my god! I'm really excited. You're our most enthusiastic contestant yet. Are you ready, Zam? I'm ready! Oh Go! God. Go ahead, Zam. Live your best life. Let's see what you got. Okay, you, you, can you do it? Oh, oh so god. close! You were so close! I almost had it. Come on, Zam. Come on, Zam. <laughs> Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Go, 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 Sam! Yeah! Jeez, this is tough! Okay, okay, either way. Left or right, it's up okay. to you. Okay. Timing is very oh, important, Sam. Oh, he's burning! Huh? Huh? Okay, oh, okay, okay. Oh, first try! Uh, wow. Very okay, scary, so now... scary, not scary at all. I'm gonna go with scary, yes. middle route. He's going scary! Oh my god, okay. it's moving! This was the moment of truth. Sam was in position, and Clown and I were ready for revenge. Welcome, Prince Sam. Welcome to the fun house. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. <laughs> you got it. That was really fun. Can I play again? Yeah. You can play again. You can absolutely okay. play again. We actually did it. Clown and I finally got our revenge. But we realized something. This wasn't just a fun house. It was a revenge factory. And there were a couple of scores that we both needed to settle. See, a couple of days ago, my friend Spectacle may have tricked me out of 10 diamonds. Okay, let me let me just go through my chest. I'm gonna find my diamonds, all right? <clears throat> go you ahead. You can take some of that. I'm leaving now. Let's go. I'm going Spectacle. I'm leaving. Spectacle, I promise you, away. I will either get away. those diamonds or your heart. I'm... And as for Clown, well, that's where things get a little sticky. See, my teammate Vitality may have accidentally left a pitfall trap at spawn that Clown Pierce sort of fell into. And nothing, including me, was going to get in his way of getting revenge 
and survive. So it was at this moment that I realized if I was going to live through this partnership, I had no choice but to betray my own teammate. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome, by the way. Welcome. Now, a set of ground rules. Ramsey, I'll let you explain these. Well, no placing blocks, no breaking blocks, all that good stuff, right? But other than that, the main rule is, would you just would, stop it? I'm, just I'm, stop it. I'm, I'm listening. That's how I listen to better. I listen you better don't better. listen through your fist. No one does that. If you look inside here, these are the prizes that you could win if you can collect three tokens. So there are three tokens in the fun house, and I bring yep. them here? Yeah, you just give them to me, and then... I will let you uh, claim your prize. Oh, well, I, he took the liberty of activating the machine. I activate the machine. That's my job, okay? That's literally <laughs> all I have in this relationship with Clown, is I get to activate the machine, please. Let me flip the switch and you guys can begin. Yeah, go ahead. If you want the world record, then you're going to have to move pretty quick because your time oh, okay. has started. I feel that already. I guess doing it at the same time would make it a little harder, but... Spectacle, are you letting him have the victory on this one? No! Scary, not scary at all. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is crazy! What? Oh yeah, they're pretty hard. Is, do I even do this? Wait, I don't, I don't want to do you. that jump. Oh, you're going for the second one. Okay, here you go. This was it. My teammate Vitality was about to walk into a terrible trap, and an evil clown was going to end me if I tried to warn him. All I could do was hope that by some kind of miracle, Vitalisy would make this jump. Hello, Vitalisy. No! What the heck? <laughs> In a turn of events, Vitalisy managed to squeak past Clown's initial attack. But what was even more surprising was somehow Spectacle didn't seem to have any idea what was going on. I did it, Francie. Hey, <laughs> this way, this way, Spectacle. What the heck is this? Not scary at all, scary. Very scary. Wait, am I stuck down here? Uh, no, you just use that as a launch pad. You're good. And then it launches oh, it. See? Oh, okay. you got it. Meanwhile, Vitality was still running for his life. No! But that meant I had a huge problem. If Clown was hunting Vitality, then there was no one waiting at the bottom of the pit to kill Spectacle. So I did the only thing that I could do. Put on my best clown face and do it myself. I'm going through the scary door. Jeez, this is trippy. I know, it's pretty crazy. What? 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 No! 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 I got him! I got him! <laughs> Let's go! What was that? Spectacle, I told you I would get my diamond somehow. No! I was ecstatic. Not only did I get revenge on Spectacle, but it was also my first kill ever on Lifesteal. But my excitement was cut short because my teammate was still being hunted. And unfortunately, not for long. So sorry. I really am. All right, but you understand. It's like when you work with a date. No, I don't understand. Don't, don't, We're teammates. Frenzy! Yes. I'm so <laughs> Vitality. Look, I'm so sorry. I'm actually, I trusted you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I honestly didn't know what else to say. What started as a partnership with a danger clown for mutual revenge turned into a story of betrayal and ended with my now former team out to get me. This isn't the end. Just, just now. And it definitely wasn't. But despite all our success, I still didn't kill the one person I was brought on Lifesteal to trap. And even worse, making powerful enemies in Season 3 meant they also had some scores to settle in Season 4. Oh, Radunes is here with a power bow. He gave me five hearts to down. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. My talents is here. Oh, fuck. Run, run. I'm gonna try to get to this boat. I'm getting, I got in the boat. Oh, God. Okay, oh, don't. Penny I got it, I got it. and Radunes are both here. I'm just gonna take this, I guess. I got okay. <laughs> and they weren't done yet. Uh, I'm on two hearts. Mr. Cube's here. Oh. I died at the base. I died at the base, the fishing base. I was finishing looting it. Oh, okay, so that means you're gonna fight with Alright, I'm in. I'm by the base. I'm running. They're gonna kill me. I see someone. Me. Yeah, I see someone. They're in a boat. They're in a boat. It's Redoons. Redoons is here. Redoons. What is that? What is that? Ah, Pangy got me. I had, I had three of them on me again. The same two. Oh, oh my god, I just got boat down.
Is everyone Spoke dying? for sure has the power for buff. I was outmanned, outskilled, and was losing every heart my team tried to give me. So I knew the only way to give my team a chance was to disappear thousands of blocks away where no one could ever find me again. But as low as I had felt in this moment, it was also filled with familiarity because it wasn't the first time that this server had tried to get me banned. This server is trying to get me banned. What? I vandalized the toilet. They've done everything from betraying me to even using hacks. Please, please. And every time I lose a heart, but no more hearts means I get kicked off the server and things weren't really going my way. Oh no, I just died. Fortunately, I still had one person I could trust. Oh, yes. I'm alive. Yes. I'm saved. See, I told you. This is Clown Pierce. We make such a good team. High five. Who I now owed a lifetime of indentured servitude for saving my life. You're in an unimaginable debt right now. But if I was going to stay on this server, not only did I need to get back the hearts I had lost, I needed a way to defend them as well, which is why I built this. Well, the actual castle is pretty much built. Now all it needs is some defense and some secret tunnels and we should be good. But a few days later, I got a message from Clown. So I logged on to see what all the fuss was about. Okay, Mr. Clown, I just logged into the server. Brandy, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some quartz. I want you to come over here. I'm, I'm on my way. Okay. I'm at the castle. Why? What? I'm being told to run. Do run. Do run. Do actually run. Uh, okay. Why? Uh... They're chasing me! Clown! They're chasing oh, okay, me! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. You're not equipped oh, for no. a fight, are you? I'm not. Just I'm not. run for as long as you can. Just go into the wilderness, <laughs> try to get away as fast as you can. There's a Mapic chasing you. Oh! Oh! He just fell in a hole! I'm out! I'm so gone! Oh, see you later, Mapic! Woo! Oh no, he's right there! That was a bad decision. Never mind. Is it just Mapic? Is it just Mapic? Yeah, it's just Mapic. Okay, lead him out to the wild. I'm about a thousand blocks away from spawn. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I have a half a heart. Heal, heal, heal. I can't. Do you have gaps? I can't. I don't have gaps. I have nothing. I'm dead. Where is he? Where is he? He killed me. Oh, no. Why? I was confused. I mean, why would Mapic attack me so ruthlessly? I retire for what? Like five minutes and it all goes to shit. You just got hunted down by the cleansers. That's who that was? They take hearts from the people that have over 10 hearts and they distribute it between the members who have less than 10 hearts. So seeing that now I only had six hearts, either they're terrible at math or pure evil. Unfortunately, my cleansing wasn't over yet. Hey, Leo's here. Is Leo a friend? Yeah, no, no. no. Where's Leo? No, Where's Leo? No, 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 no. Maybe I can just play the sympathy card. Actually, he's yeah. trying, like, yeah. Oh, he's trying to kill me. Why? Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Oh, nope. I guess not. I was now down to five hearts and halfway to being banned from the server. But for every evil empire, there's a resistance. And it didn't take long for them to find me. My hero. Brandy. This is Yeah Jaren, aka Dirty One. Just take what you need so I can give some to. Row. See, when the cleansers started attacking players across the server, he and the rest of the victims formed an alliance called the Dirties. And since they were my best shot at staying on the server, things were about to get really, really dirty around here. But since no one on this server can be trusted, I needed to suss out my new teammates. This is such a cool castle. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. Okay, I'm going to give you... Six shulker shells. You're so I generous. A, I have a stack of shells in my e chest. And you only gave me six? That's kind of cheap. To be fair, I did not come across these legitimately. So if anyone asks where you got them, don't tell them you got them from me. You gave oh, me yeah. stolen goods? Listen, uh, I, no, now I'm an accomplice to your crime. Hi, Woogie. Uh, how many hearts do you have? I have five. Huh? Okay, Branzi, here's another gift. I have, why, why are you Here gifting you me so many things? What, what is that? You have netherite too? Don't ask questions. <laughs> I have a gift too. Uh, okay. Here's Ooh. some apples. I'll be honest. This is this is the true gift. This is exactly. everything I've wanted. I'm, no oh, I offense, Don. Shotgun shells and netherite is worth <laughs> less. I'm not going to cry now. I didn't steal those. Now, were they just buttering me up? Probably. Hey, Brands, you want to see my stick? <laughs> Don't hit that with someone or they're going to get banned. Is that real? Yeah. Don, come here. Oh my god. But as long as I had the dirties, I knew I wasn't going to get banned anytime soon. That is until Clown decided to betray the entire server. Are you prepared to betray every single one of them? 
for hearts. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> Are you prepared? I was conflicted. I mean, how could I betray the dirties when they've been so kind to me? But on the other hand, how could I betray Clown who had saved my life? Plus, he did hire me as his indentured servant, so that's a great bad guy pitch. I love that. I'm in. <laughs> but the first thing we needed to do was recruit a team of experts who showed me their secret weapon to stealing more hearts. What's up, Branzy? I don't know if it's because of Parrot's budget cuts or what, but the plugin we found has a slight flaw when it comes to harming arrows. The plugin is supposed to not allow me to interact with it at all, you see. Okay. As it turns out, wait a second. Do you happen to have a dispenser on you? Sorry, I got budget cuts of my own as well. Hold on. <laughs> This is not part of the script. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you we got it. Hooray. Right. And just like that, you now have hopping arrows in your inventory. Dude. Those do those bad boys take away a quarter of your entire health with just one shot. Our pièce de résistance, if you will. Pièce de résistance. I like it. I Dude. don't know what it means. I don't even think I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, using illegal arrows sounds cool, but I mean, how powerful could they really be? You both spam people to death. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, very. And even if we didn't win the war, this would definitely get my hearts back. That was a fun one. Yeah, right? It's fun when you win. <laughs> yeah, I like PvP when I win. But we still had one problem. The dirties still thought that we were on their side. So I offered a solution. We could just blow them all up with a castle. You want to blow up your castle? I like your castle. I do too, but that's why I think we should blow it up. Okay, okay, now you, now you, now you sold me. So the plan was simple. Clown would have all of the dirties meet us inside of the castle, which we rigged with almost 2,000 pieces of TNT. And right as the rest of us escape, Wreck triggers the TNT, blowing up the castle and all the dirties with it. No pressure, Wreck. <laughs> No, 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 nope, no, no, no pressure. So now all we had to do was wait. Hello, dirties, and welcome to the castle. Here we were minutes before the start of the war. The dirties were all in attendance. Ash, Clown, and I were standing ready on the balcony. Wreck was in position to fire the trap, and the only thing missing was Parrot. Really? All right, we could do this with four. But even down a man, this was still my best shot at getting more heart. In the base. Uh, what the? Ow. Bro. What? So yeah, I was now down to four hearts. But somehow the castle was still standing, which meant that we still had a shot at our plan. But it might help if I had some real armor. Do you have an extra set of gear? Uh, uh, no. Here you go, Brandy. Uh, take the bottom set. I felt terrible in this moment. If I didn't take the armor, then Don would know something was going on. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. But how could I betray the man that has been so kind to me? Unfortunately, it was too late. Hey guys, guys, they're outside, they're outside, they're outside. They're outside. Oh, oh no. The cleansers ambushed us, but they also walked right into our trap. The castle and everyone inside of it was gone. But there was one small problem. Everyone scattered before the TNT could go off, meaning that the entire server was alive and hunting us. Except the dirties, who had no idea that we had just tried to betray them. Behind us, behind us, they're here, they're here, they're here. Here, here, here. I'll meet Shell, just get behind me. Oh my gosh, dude, this is an all out war. I'm getting 3v1'd. Okay, I'm dinging him to help out. Target spoke. Got him! Let's freaking nice, go! Nice, Take it! Nice. Let's go! Take it! Get me, get, get me. He's it. low, he's low. Okay, Branzy, me and you, me and yep, you. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Ash, I think this is you. Yeah, I only have whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't great. Oh. It was Leo. Does anyone have any orange slices? I was now down to three hearts, but things were about to get a whole lot worse. Everyone fight Clown, Wreck, and Branzy. Where's Parrot? He sold us out. Check General of Lifesteal. Our teammate Parrot had told the dirties that we planned to betray them. So now my team was facing the entire server. So I completely deserted them and saved myself. I'm going to try to get back to the circus to get some harming arrows for you guys. <sighs> Loyalty is so annoying. Annoying. But when I finally got back to the circus, there wasn't much left. Oh my gosh, dude, they totally destroyed the circus. They really did. Really? But not only were the arrows gone, something much worse was waiting for me. Oh, they killed me again. Are you crying? A bit. Yeah, a bit. Two hearts left. At this point, I had no good gear and no way of helping my team. How many hearts are you on, Ramsey? Two. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, You're on two? No. Renzi, you should, you should stay out of spawn. You should grind some hearts. He was right. The war was over, and I was closer than ever to being banned. But when I finally met back up with my team, I realized something. After all we had sacrificed and betrayed just to get on top, here we were hiding at rock bottom. Fortunately for us, a simple Discord call was about to change that. We're here to say today we want to make a truce and end this war. Ending all of our illegal activities, ending all of this destruction, this anarchy, because the whole point of the cleanse was to bring peace back to life still. Did the cleansers really want peace? Or was this just a trap to finally get me banned from the server? There was only one way to find out. I'm hey, sorry, 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 I'm just, buddy. just putting it out there, Branzi's on two hearts right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro. It's been, it's been kind of rough, right? And then something happened that I never expected on the Lifesteal SMP. You, you, help? you helped me, you helped me farm yes. Rotoms that one time. What can I get? Oh, thank you so much. I don't know what you're so kind. Yeah, People actually started sharing their hearts. Branzi. Batatsi, how many hearts you want? I'll Batatsi, give you, you Batatsi, my four. Oh, you're so sweet. He's this is, this is why I love again. you so much. Not, a, not in public, Branzi. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Ash. Brandy's back to 10, everyone. I'm back to 10. Brandy Craft is back to 10. Oh my god, we did it. It's a life steal miracle. It's a life steal miracle. Uh, it's, a miracle. Uh, it's a life steal miracle. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Thank you. It may have taken a war that blew up my castle, Clown's Casino, and the entire spawn area to realize it, but it turns out the best way to not get banned on lifesteal is simple. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. So you remember when I, you gave me all that armor and I betrayed you. I didn't actually kill you, but then you killed me. I, I do remember that. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. You and I are better friends than that, Don. So here. We are better friends than that. This is to make up for all of my betrayal and me to say I'm really sorry and I would never, ever do anything like that ever again. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a wholesome ending, but I mean, not only had I decided not to trap Wreck, I was also now teaming up with him, and still the entire server came together to get me back to 10 hearts. I was more confused than ever, and you probably are too. Because now, here I am in season 4, with no clown to protect me, and everyone out for blood. My blood. So how exactly did things for me go from a heartfelt moment to a spawn-killing frenzy? Well, this is lifesteal after all. <laughs> but the real answer lies at the end of season three, somewhere between the friends I decided to keep and those I decided to betray. This is me, bed trapped in an obsidian box, being farmed for my hearts. But I'll let you in on a little secret. It's all a scam. See, a few days ago, I got a message from Minecraft's deadliest assassin himself, Clown Pierce. So, Ramsey, you know how well we work together in the fun house, right? <laughs> how could I forget? Oh, no, 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 I got him! What if I told you that there's a way that we could earn a lot more hearts. I mean, like, how many hearts are we talking about? I'm talking about both of us to 20 hearts. Now, stealing hearts on this server means taking on some of the best trappers, scammers, and PvPers in the game. And then there's me. Uh, oh, no, no! Uh, whoops! Dang it! But getting all the way to the server max of 20 hearts was the best way to go from Lifesteal's weakest member to its strongest. Yeah, I like that. You like that? I do. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Do you know what I built the Funhouse exterior for originally? A giant casino with games specifically made to steal hearts? Exactly. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the casino. the player's trust, we start with our simple slot machine, which is really just a dispenser filled with random prizes, and it's totally legit. But as we continue through the casino, the games get more and more rigged, like this timing game, where even if you flip the lever at just the right moment, you can't quite win the jackpot or our double or nothing game. This was actually inspired by a channel called Rexstone, but uh, not nearly as efficient. And it's so rigged that the final prize doesn't even have a redstone line going to it. But every game in the casino is only meant to lead the players 
to this, the giant roulette table, where players will bet hearts on which color they think the redstone lamps will stop on. And while the players are on the betting platform over there, Clown and I will be in the control room where we can decide which color is going to win. And the only thing left to do was get those hearts because the casino was officially open and players were lining up to place their bets. Hi, Spectacle. Hi. Hello, Vitalicy. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Clown Pierce and Branzi's Casino of Riches. Are you being held hostage, Branzi? <laughs> you can tell me. Welcome to the slot machine room, Leewook. It costs five diamonds to play. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Take your five diamonds, Branzi Craft. Oh! <gasps> you got the netherite! Okay. How about that? Oh, 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 you gotta oh, get it. That's nice. Now, this is a game of timing, Don. You're gonna have to flip that lever on the table at the correct time to stop the machine to land on the prize that you want. Cost oh, 10 okay. diamonds to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this ten, is ten. neat. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. All right, Mr. Cube, what do you got? Oh, Let's go! We got oh, a ton What? Ooh. No! Three I diamonds! <laughs> Diamond! There we go, diamond. You nice. Got a totem. You got a totem. Awfully rigged, actually. You think? But uh, all right, this next game is called Double or Nothing. Whoa! Oh my God! Yeah, let's rainbow. Every time that you flip the lever, you have a chance to double your money. So if you light up the first red light, then you get eight diamonds, and then orange will get you sixteen, and if you get all the way to purple, you win a god apple. I in, I invest in cryptocurrency. Losses mean nothing to me. Okay, okay let's go. That's fair enough. Oh, that's a win! Please, please. <laughs> oh! Yes! yes! Come on. Come on! Oh! Yes! You Let's win. go! Oh, he flicks it again. Oh, oh no! All right, I'm dead. stopping here. I need these diamonds. Here you go, Planet Maureen. Here you go. That is oh, yours. Uh, congratulations. Everything was going perfectly. I mean, the only thing happier than our customers was clown. <laughs> I don't know if I can put that on YouTube. But now it was time for the main attraction. Let's move on to the final game. Welcome oh my gosh. Wow. to the roulette table. Oh my God. On the roulette table, you can only bet with hearts. Yes. It's up to you how many you want to bet. Uh, I'll bet one heart. I'll bet a heart. It's okay. One heart. They all go with one. How about all of them? How many is all of them? I, I got eight. Okay. Wow. Which color are you betting everything on? Mm, red. Er, black. Red. 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 here today. Oh, on, on black. Let's start the machine. It's it's kind of satisfying. I'm Let's scared. See. Here I'm we go. Scared. Let's see, Leo. Okay. Uh, are you going to win? Uh, oh, no. no. It's mythical. I'm scared. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, oh. baby. No, oh, Mr. Q. Our plan was working better than expected, and the hearts were just pouring in until this happened. We bet on black, boys. Bet on black. Oh, baby, bet on black. Yo, oh, you got it. Oh, let's wow, go. John. Oh my God. Okay, I might have made a tiny mistake and sort of flipped the wrong lever, meaning that we were actually about to lose hearts on our own scam. And the only thing I could do was take a gamble of my own. Why don't we play one more time? Give us a chance to win one back. All right. Don, how many hearts are you going to put up for this? I already gave you the one. Clown, I want to bet against yep. Don. You want to bet against? What? I'll bet my own heart against you as well if you put up one more okay branzy i mean listen this is gonna be one hell of a video what else is new am i right <laughs> you got you got yourself a deal all right i'll wager an extra heart and since i was now betting it was all up to clown to man the machine alone and save our hearts always bet on black Let's see what fortune brings. Let's do the action. Uh, oh. <gasps> oh. I have oh, no God. idea. Oh. That's, oh, is it red? Red. Oh, 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 my 
my god. Oh. It's almost as though the house never loses. Funny how that works. And after a huge grand opening, it was time to see just how successful we were. This is about what we made in, uh, in diamonds. Dude, that's so insane. So many hearts too. Like, you got six? I got eight. That's 14 hearts. I'm gonna don my hearts. You're gonna do it? Yep. All right, three, two, one. Do it, do it, yes. Uh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So the good news is 14 hearts on a single scam is a new server record. But I was still four hearts away from my goal, which meant I needed another scam. And I found it in the least likely person. My former teammate, Vitalicy. What's up? What can I help you with? Um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm just doing this so that uh Clown doesn't see us talking here. What what's your relationship with Clown right now? Indentured servitude, I think is the term. Would you like to be freed? Uh, is this like Dobby getting a sock? Maybe, yeah. I'd like to be freed. <laughs> Alright. Um What's the catch? need you to betray Clown Pierce. I mean, Clown has 20 hearts right now. Wait, well, how does he have 20 hearts? I don't know if you played the casino games, but uh, they're, they're very lucrative. That's when I realized I had just helped Clown become the strongest member on the server instead of myself. And if I was going to help scam the scam master, it was going to take more than just Vitalicy's help. I'm going to need more than just freedom, Vitalicy. I need to get to 20 hearts. That's what I need. I'm fine, I'm fine, fine, fine. We can arrange something to get you to 20 hearts. Okay, but I want the hearts first. Deal. So, now sitting at 16 hearts, I had to decide. Was I devious enough to betray Vitalicy again? Or was my friendship with Clown really only worth four hearts? Well, to become the strongest player on Lifesteal, you have to choose hearts above everything else. Subs. Hi. Hey, the purple trio. Back at it. The purple trio. The purple trio. Whoa. Back together. Our plan was simple. Vitality would convince Clown that Subs had me bed trapped and was farming my hearts until Clown met their demands. At which point, I'll get my hearts back and officially become Lifesteal's strongest member. All right, click that bed. Store all your stuff securely. Subs, get in there with him. Oh, wait, I need my hearts. I got you. Oh my gosh. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Boys, Branzi the Week has 20 hearts. Let's go. Oh, it happened. Look at All that. I did it. I reached the epitome of lifesteal. 20 hearts. But it didn't feel right. Not because they were about to be farmed for ransom, but because of what I was about to lose to get here. But my decision was already made. And now, I had to see it through. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi, Clown. Hi, Clown. What's up? Um, Here's the deal, Clown. We have Branzi in a prison. For every 30 seconds that you do not give me 11 hearts, Branzi will be killed. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Hey, Branzi, where are you? Where are you, Branzi? Where are you? Where I'm are in you? a box. I'm in a box. They <laughs> trapped where, where me. Where are you? Where, Branzi? Where? 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 They took me through the center. And as any good friend would, Clown started fighting to save me. So, 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 do it. Not do it. All right, do another kill. No, no, Don't no, do no. another kill. Don't, Don't do another kill. kill. No, Don't. Listen, okay, okay, my cousin. Let's talk about this. Let's stop. Branzi, respawn one, stick a screen of the cords. Send them to me. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't even hit the time. Why'd you not have enough time, Branzi? I hit. And then, as I sat on a respawn screen, contemplating the guilt of what I had done, my conscience and heart hit rock bottom. Goodbye. Clown mm. Pierce. GG, guys. GG. Clown just gave his life trying to save me. How could I have done this? And how was I going to live with the guilt? We got what we needed out of this. I got a fish, so I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, Branzi got four hearts for trying to betray me, so... <laughs> Well, pretty easy actually, because not only did Clown know that Vitality and Subs just gave me four hearts, he knew every detail of our plan from the beginning. Come on, did you really think I would ever betray Clown? Clown knows about our deal. <laughs> Brandy, I can't believe you. This is the second time. <laughs> just uh, scamming scammers. I mean, what? What did I do? Besides, when you mess with the real strongest player on Lifesteal, you don't walk away alive. That got me? Oh! Yes! Oh, yes! Warped? Yes! What? Yes! Clown had secretly made one final trap to save both of us, and it worked perfectly. Well played. I'm surprised <laughs> I got me from there. Kudos no, to you. Was, Jesus Christ. Just for the record. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clown. Are you at 19 hearts, by the way? Yeah. Hold on. 
this is something that I owe you for doing everything in your power to protect me and always being at my side. There you go, clown. Back Aww, up to 20 you go. Thank you, Nancy. That is awfully sweet of you. And even if it meant that I wouldn't be Lifesteal's strongest player anytime soon, I would choose my friend over hearts any day. But I still want those hearts. So you want to try it again, Mr. Q? I'm actually excited to, to come back. I had some bad luck the last time. How, How many, many hearts are you betting is the question. I am going to bet six hearts. What? Wow. Hmm, he seems pretty confident. Almost like he tried to rig our own machine against us. Are you ready to spin the wheel, Mr. Cube? I am ready. And didn't realize that we discovered his little plot. And what is your color, Mr. Cube? What do you choose? I'm gonna choose red. And was about to lose a lot more than he bargained for. Oh, there's be? a black. There's What's a red. it gonna be? There's a black. Oh, oh Mr. Cube. Oh. What? Oh. You should know that when you play the casino, mm -hmm. the house always wins. Oh, he thought he could scam the casino. <laughs> yes, he thought he could do buzz. He oh. can. We're the ones who do. There you go. 20 right there. 20 hearts. 20, 20 hearts. hearts. Nancy is on 20 hearts. And you know what? That's how I'm going out, Clown. So Clown and I successfully pulled off the biggest scam in server history. But even more importantly... For the first time since joining this server, I felt like I actually belonged on Lifesteal. Because as it turns out, I wasn't brought here to trap wreck rap at all. I was brought here to make friends, to make enemies, to tell stories, and to be part of an amazing community of fans and creators. So when the man who I once believed was my sole purpose of being here asked if I liked pancakes, I wasn't afraid to tell him the truth. Pancakes every day. And when the server broke out in a killing frenzy, I knew at the end of the day, we all loved each other. And when my oldest friend asked me to meet up with him a few days later, I knew that despite all we had been through, we could finally put the past behind us. So I'm gonna put this real simple for you, Branzi. You All like right. pancakes, now five seconds to run. Or not. Three. No, no, hold on. Two. No, 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 I'm pushing oh, all the wrong buttons. Golly, no, 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 because like I said before, well, I, I just wanted to, to hang out. Harder. You never really know what to expect on the Lifesteal SMP. Killing Branzi in Lifesteal is like kicking a toddler in Walmart. Like, what are you going to get out of this experience? <laughs> well, like, if, true, if, if that toddler likes pancakes, then it's absolutely you're, justified. You kick a toddler for liking pancakes?